Good morning. My name is John, and this is the Homestead Diary. About a week ago, I put a little tagline at the end of my email. I, I've always got a little something to kind of poke at people to make them, make them think, I would hope, uh, at the end of the email that I sent. Not that I send that much email or that I'm, you know, some email celebrity or whatever, but um, I do this, and it's fun. And I put a little tagline that said, Putin cured, and then I put the C word, um, cause, and I can't really say it, because uh, YouTube gets a little weird about people who speak the truth. And, uh, but anyway, Putin cured the public health crisis, shall we say. And uh, it's amazing, because he has. If you've watched the news recently, what are they talking about now? Are they talking about cases? Are they talking about the scary thing that everybody's gonna get if you don't put a diaper on your face? No. No, they're talking about the war. And at the same time, all these t tyrannical government entities are all of a sudden saying, well, actually, you don't need to wear that thing. It's, um, we think that the danger is past. Everything's okay. We're not gonna talk about the new this and the new that, and you might kill grandma and all that nonsense that most of us know was just lies anyway. It's amazing, the distraction that goes on. And it's unfortunate that so many people have suffered because of this distraction. Two years of tyranny, two years of frustration, two years of being traumatized, not just by the media, but by the people who were so wound up by the media and so wound up by the medical establishment, which by the way, I used to trust. I used to really trust when a doctor said, you need to do this, I took him seriously. You know what? I don't take him so seriously anymore because Putin single-handedly cured the public health crisis. That's something y'all need to be thinking about, watching for the next distraction. And you know what? You gotta ask yourself, if he cured the public health crisis so easily, then after the entire world couldn't, billions of people doing all these things and it wasn't working. Unless, of course, you get that little pokey in your arm and then it still doesn't work. In fact, it makes it worse. But anyway, be looking for the next thing that they're going to push. What is the next thing? What are they going to be going after next? What part of your freedoms are they going to attack next? Because they're coming for them. Whatever element of freedom that you think you have, they're coming for it. And you know what? If you live in the cities, if you live in the built up areas, they can take it and there's nothing you can do about it. If you come out of her, come out of Babylon, out here, they don't care about you. They don't care about you in the cities, but out here, they really don't care about you. And unless you want to be heard, they just leave you alone. So something to think about coming out of her and being aware that the next distraction is surely on its way. My name is John, and this is the Homestead Diary. Y'all have a blessed day.